I built a little AI that compares addresses. We get lots of information from the customer, their estate agent, their bank. It's only a little model. It only had 10 items of trading data in there. Now, that sounds quite simple, so I'll expand. The address 22 Acacia Avenue, London, SW1, 1A. Banana Man. Banana Man, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. With, uh, is it, was the crow called Eric? Yeah, I think it was Eric. It was, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that is the same address as 22 Acacia a V E dot Westminster Middlesex London SW one one AA. A human can see that quite easily. Trying to code that is really hard. If you just take the avenue for example, you could have Avenue A V E A V E dot. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's before we start moving on to counties, which is hugely problematic. Does Yorkshire exist? Technically it doesn't. <laughs> but but there is a group uh, there is a group of people um, who say Yorkshire does exist. That's fine. But that's a nightmare. So you've got some people that put East Ridings of Yorkshire. You've got some people that don't like it, don't agree with it, will never do that. Some people at West Yorkshire, Yorks, North Yorkshire. It's a huge amount of variety in address submission. It is. But a large language model, it kind of knows. It doesn't know. It just needs a bit of prompting uh, to do it. It's about 70% match completely. So that means there's 70% less mundane work to be done. And then the 30% is left for things that the AI thinks it doesn't match at all, or it's just kind of matches, but it's not quite sure. 